Hi, and welcome back to Deploy and Manage OpenStack Pike on Ubuntu. In this lesson, we're going to have a quick course introduction. So a little bit about the course. This course is designed to help you understand the following services and how they fit together in an OpenStack cluster. The identity service, which is also known as Keystone, will be used for authentication. The image service, known as Glance, controls our image management. The compute service, also known as Nova, will be in charge of creating our resources and especially launching our instance. Networking is also known as Neutron and will be creating a provider network. The dashboard will give us a graphical user interface in which to interact with OpenStack. Block storage, also known as Cinder, is for volume storage. Object storage, which is known as Swift, will give us object storage capabilities. And finally, orchestration, which is known as Heat, and will basically look at that service and its installation, but we won't go into creating templates in this particular course. We will also walk through the basic architecture of a cluster and its networking, install a five node OpenStack cluster on VirtualBox, and finally launch and SSH into an instance that we're gonna create on our cluster. Now, if you can notice from those bottom points, we're gonna actually be doing this more as a follow along course so that you have your own cluster at the end of the course. Now, there are a few prerequisites for taking this course. Prior to taking this course, it is recommended you have an understanding of basic networking, including VLANs, routing, and subnetting. And you should also have a basic understanding of Linux and OpenStack. And we do recommend that you have taken the following courses if you do not have that knowledge already. The first is Linux Essentials that will go over networking as well as basic Linux commands. And the OpenStack Essentials course, which will go into detail on the various OpenStack services. Thank you for watching this course introduction. Go ahead and click Finish and we can move on.